Hey, how can I forget those days? I exactly remember that this cell phone didn't fall out of the blue heaven, being intertwined in the horn of a unicorn or in the wings of an angel. But it didn't fail less either. My mom presented me this cell phone in the past as the present. I still remember I was in cloud nine, and since that day, this cell phone became a part of my life. My hand feels homesick without this cell phone, and my ears would feel hollow without the earphones. However, I need to put this. My name is Robert Samling Rai. I'm 16 years old, and I was a chronic mobile phone addict. Since that day. I got a hold of this cell phone. I never lose my contact with this. While I lost my contact with my mom, and I rarely spoke with her. I had no time to listen to my dad's shout from my daily schedule because I was too busy listening to the YouTubers. I had no time to sit over a cup of coffee with my friends because I thought, how could I miss the chicken dinner at PUBG? Since that day, I lost my contact with my friends, families, and society who were the world because I felt the world was captivated in this cell phone. How ironic when, when I was too much active in social networking, I turned to anti-socialist. And talk of studies, I ceased reading the novels of Chetan Bhagat, Jane Austen, and all of them because I thought. That there was no net worth of the emotions of literature embodied to words because I had full time seeing Rahul cutely cry for Simran and little did I know that Rahul was Sarukh Khan. Never did I get to open up the emotions of my heartfelt words because I was too busy. Lipsing the accent of TikTok, like musically and whatnot. And look at me today. I'm a man with jillions of emotions to spit out. <laughs> and talk of happiness, my happiness was snatched because I counted my net worth of happiness by the number of likes, comments, and hearts. My my photos in Facebook. Instagram, Twitter collected as the accolades. I still remember scampering and jumping off when I saw my cover pic. Six hundred and sixty-one likes, hundred and fifteen comments, and one hundred and fifteen hearts. Oh my God! <laughs> I started. Hating the man looking at me from the mirror because I started looking at the celebrities who who blazed and shone over heavy makeup in this fourth screen, and I became uncomfortable at my own skin. I forgot laughing and I started faking smile because I had no time to play around with my sisters and irritate her and laugh at the tantrums she would throw. Because I devoted all of my time to this, and the the pair of pseudo ad Nike shoes I had felt inadequate, because the Flipkart, Amazon, Snap Deal, and the commercial ads in this cell phone tempted me to Jordans. I started feeling inadequate. You know what? I counted my achievement as. Made it to, made it to Town Hall Eleven of Clash of Clans, mastered Game of Thrones and, and, <laughs> Mobile Legend and, let's not forget the chicken dinner at PUBG. And I stopped and I forgot spellings because Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram asks you more of an abbreviations, by killing my mobile data, and the tragic part was that. I had no friends in the long friend list. No smileys, just smiley emojis. This gadget, this cell phone, this very thing, slipped the word happy to sad 
to sadder to saddest for me and maybe even for some of you guys. And then I was depressed, insecure and unhappy and lifeless. But now, no, I am not because I, I decided that this phone wouldn't decide the way I would live life. This phone wouldn't decide whether I'll be happy or sad. This phone has no rights to decide me. Hey, drop the color to the video and change the background music. Because I decided that this cell phone is not going to decide the way I live my life. So I maintained a safer distance with it. Because of that, today I am happy, secure and not at all depressed. Today, at this present moment, I look around at the world. I smile and listen to my dad's shout. I speak to my mom. Me and my friends, we disperse only after one round of tea and two rounds of coffee. So, bad luck to the chicken dinner at PUBG. Well, I read Chetan Bhagat and recently I have finished reading A Dream State by our beloved Sir Kiran Rai. And I speak and pin down my emotions. I don't count happiness because they are infinite. And talk of happiness and laughing. Every time I irritate my sister, she throws the tantrums and I end, end up laughing every time. So whatever I have, I feel flourished with it, including this pseudo shoes of Nike I possess. And if you talk of achievement, I have fought mobile addiction. So stay safe, fight mobile addiction. But hey, before I leave, I want to leave your homework. Answer yourself. Is this, is this cell phone going to decide and not allow you to live your life as a human? Answer yourself. Peace. Hey, how was the video? If you liked it, please give it a like, feel free to comment and share this among those who are having a bit more problem in handling mobile phones. So and at last, please do subscribe hit the notification bell. Peace.